Welcome to the Sizzle Chest Inn. It's just wax today. Just me. What I'm going to do here is I am going to start my playthrough on one of the harder difficulties. Uh, I have not been able to successfully get past like the first five minutes of the beginning of the game. Just because I am not that good of a player of this game on anything higher than veteran, I, guess, I suppose. Um, I think I'm playing on like Nightmare or something like that. And I'm just trying to get to the part where I can pull all my items out of my, uh, my chest so that I can use my, my cheats, if you will. Um, but it, I it had a lot of trouble with the end boss um, on the difficulty level before this one. I don't know if I don't know if it's Nightmare or Hell on Earth that I'm trying to play this on. I can't remember. Um, but even still, the end boss was such a pain in the ass. Uh, you know, like he was knocking me down in like you know a couple hits. Uh, he just re unleashed this like relentless onslaught of just fists on me, and that just took me out. So I'm gonna see if I can get this going. I like watching this guy fall. Fall already. I can't believe he actually died from that though. Like. It's really not that high of a fall, but I mean, I've fallen from a height about that high before. And the worst I did was I hurt a toe. That's it. So. Go, girl. Don't let him get you. Wait about that tentacle porn up in here. Run, 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 run. All right, let's see what I can do here. Woo. I love his uh, garbage bag outfit though, that's pretty dope. As I say, like, this isn't the part that I have issues with. It's the zombies. I'm not even kidding. Like, um, I normally get hemmed up. If I don't get hemmed up right at the part where, where the bus is at, I usually get hemmed up around uh, the elevator. So when I'm trying to get on the elevators when uh, they, they normally get me in the parking garage. And again, just want to reiterate, let everybody know that uh, this is not a, a channel for children. I mean, you just kind of do whatever up in here. So if you are under the age of 18, I'm going to go ahead and say you've been warned. <laughs> so if your parents uh, hear you listening to any of this stuff, they need to understand that uh, you know better. And it's your fault, not mine, that you're listening to what I have to say or watching what I'm putting out there, so. So you have fun with that, Karen and Jeff. Or I don't remember what the hell they, they call the male Karen. I'll have to Google it. Bradley! It's crazy that they're like smart enough to know to climb though, you know? Run, don't get caught. I've actually been caught right there on this, whatever difficulty level this is right here, so. And it sucks to die like right there. <laughs> so, so I'm so lame at this game that this, the beginning of the game is so difficult for me to do.
Always. All right. Now, if I die anywhere on this uh, little section here, I have to go back and do all that stuff I just did again. And that will irritate the hell out of basically every one of us. Nobody wants to see me constantly doing the same thing over and over again. And the way that this difficulty level works is basically if one of these guys catches me, I am done. See, that's it. It's over. It is over. You are dead, Jill. And I did not mean to do that. Anywho, I don't remember what difficulty level this is on, and I forgot to dodge. There. That's what I was wanting to do, but I forgot how to do that. Jill can perform a perfect dodge by doing a quick step or taking aim at the right moment. So, I mean, you guys all know all this crap. Blah, 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 blah. All right, go ahead and skip it. Yeah. So, my videos here, they're more of a... Uh, how not to play the game. <laughs> so it's like, if you want to be good at the game, this is how you just do everything the exact opposite from what I'm doing and you'll be fine. I mean, no complaints. You'll be, you'll do excellent. You'll be a, a elite pro player if you do the exact opposite of what I do, so. Rally! Oh wait. You okay? There it is. Now I can do that. So, this game is pre really pretty. Um, it is v fairly short, and like the controls are kind of sluggish. But I mean, they used to be way worse by, back when like PlayStation One, uh, when the game first came out. So. Um, Silent Hill was pretty sluggish too, um, but I did enjoy that game a lot. I enjoy that whole series. Um, yeah, so sorry, Brad. So sorry. All right. All right. Let's see if I can get her done. That's the button right there. Boom! Boom! Oh hell. Of course he would... Damn it. Oh, I did do the perfect roll. Dodge, whatever. So, I wonder... I should probably lure them both out a little bit. Then die. That's kind of, yeah, that's that's a smart way to go. I'm just trying to rush through at, at this point, so. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> cool thing about editing software is I can take, delete all this crap.
see if I can do this. Okay. How'd this all happen so fast? I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like our play on steroids. The parking garage, the parking garage, the parking garage, the parking garage. But I am. I will always come closer to you, buddy. You are my boo. Just kidding. Is it though? Alright. Okay, let's see if I can get through this without dying. There's... There's a couple of spots here I have to dodge. Dodge, dodge. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. No, damn it. Damn it. Ah. Ah. This is annoying. So annoying. All right, see what I got going on here. Shit. Yes, sir. Whew. I can't believe I did that. 
<clears throat> that, that's actually like the roughest part. I was stuck on that part. I'm not even kidding for like three days. And then I just kind of gave up. I was like, what in the world? Yay, helicopter! Get to the chopper! I bet you everybody said that shit. I don't know, maybe not. That's old. It's from this movie from the 80s called Predator, for those of you who don't know. Arnold Schwarzenegger. You might know him as the Governor Da. Or the governor of... Former governor of California. So... Uh, he was just recently in that Terminator movie, in case you didn't know, uh, Dark Fate, I think it was called. That's right, bitch. Get it, girl, get it. Don't let him get you. That dude can do, take some damage. He's a, he's a damage sponge, for real. It's like, whatever it is that you dish out at that fool, him and his hefty garbage bag uh, outfit can handle. But I really want to know what it is that he's got, he actually is wearing, because that is some heavy duty stuff. And I ain't never seen no stuff like that before. Not saying it couldn't exist. I mean, it's a Vigi game. Ooh. I don't know. Is that kind of close for one of those to be going off? Who are you? Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. Hello, lady. My name is Carlos. I'm here to save you. Jill is an independent woman, and she does not need no saving from no man. Recognize Carlos. If anything, she's going to save you. Girl power! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like I like trolling on some folks. Uh, it's easier to troll on some folks uh, as opposed to others, you know. My guys have converted uh, some subway cars into a shop. It's safe. I'm sorry. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Right. Go. Ain't you ever seen Rick and Morty personal space, man? The dipshit that closed it. One personal space. Sorry. Two personal space. Uh, three, personal space. Four, look, look out for that personal space. Five, hey, get out of my personal space. Love that. Uh, personal space. Uh. Oh, no. Y'all did this. We ain't do none of that. What you mean? But I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Yeah, I guess. I guess we can go with you. But I don't know. Dino bites! Red and yellow. All them toxins in there to kill you and your children. Give y'all cancer. That's what they do. Don't you know who that is? Carlos. That is Jill Valentine. Man, Carlos don't Jill care. Operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. Valentine. It's Jill. So chill, homie. Ooh, did you get bit? Bliss. How's that going for you? 
Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. Man, man, serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. I like Carlos's hair, though, dude. That's some really cool hair. We are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help, Sultan. My men cannot do this alone. Y'all could do it. You just don't want to, you lazy bastard. All right. I'm in. Ooh. Not your man. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Dude, are you sure you want the same thing? Cause it don't seem like he do. Yeah, so don't you mansplain that radio to her, you dick. Head up this street, though. I'm picking this up. All right, so there's that thing there if you want to pick it up. I mean, I might be able to help you out find documents and whatnot. So I, I remembered what the uh, difficulty level is here. It's Inferno. Inferno. That's why it was giving me all that trouble. So now I know that when I get to that end boss, I'm going to be stuck on it for a month or so. So we'll see what happens. Maybe uh, you guys will be, um, you know, there with me. Maybe not. Let's see. Hopefully you guys stick around for that. Yeah, hip pads. Yeah, so early on in the game, I love this weapon. I don't have the lockpick yet. It's all good though. Everything is. Uh, wait, store that, store that, store that, store that, store that. Let me go ahead and get uh, this out. This out. Wait. I don't need the assault coin right now because I'm pulling this bad boy out right now. Um, what else do I need? Recovery. Yes. Iron defense. Yes. And that. Oops. Alright, I'm gonna try and keep it clean. Uh, this just makes it easier to dodge, right? Speed switch is perfect dodge. You can use okay, carry more to increase the effect, but you can only buy one. Um, dun, dun, dun. it's on now. Save it here just in case. Alright. I know I probably shouldn't have done that, but uh, who cares? Overkill! I thought I had purchased a hip pouch. It's supposed to be in here, right? Or no. Or is that what I picked up? Yeah, who cares? Let's go. Hey, all I have to say is props to anyone who plays this game mode normally, like without what I got on, without all the crap that I have. So kudos to you. You are a bigger man, woman, whatever, than I am. Because as you can see, I am not able to do it without it. Y'all want some of this? Carlos, 
Carlos, where are you at? Carlos. Carlos, where are you at? Carlos. Oh no, those zombies that I blew up are back up. I think that's why he's all, dude, he's, they're all messed up. <laughs> uh, that gas can right there is just a little bit of razzle dazzle that I needed. I don't need that damn gunpowder. I need the good stuff. Is there anybody else trying to get up? Hope not. Huh. See if this will work. All right, looks like I'm going around. I'm not trying to get the S rank on this one, not just yet. Um, trying to figure it out, if anything. So, so for those of you who are like, Hey, bro, you're going too slow. I, I know. I'm just trying to get through Inferno. I'm not trying to, you know, do all the extra finish it in an hour type thing, you know. It's not going to happen for me, especially because the end boss is going to be my, like, I'm going to pull all my hair out. <clears throat> I never got to play the uh, the original because every like copy I would get it it didn't work. I you know my I had a PlayStation One that um, wasn't. I mean, like it kind of worked, but not really. So when I borrowed a copy of the game from somebody. It didn't didn't work for me at all. So, uh, oh snaps! Who are you? Where'd you come from? Woo! That scared me a little bit. Uh, anywho, as I was saying, I wasn't uh, able to play the game. And then I had a working PlayStation and I went to borrow a copy from another friend and his copy was scratched to hell. So I borrowed it and it wouldn't work at all. So I was just like destined not to play. Oh, and then I, uh, I'm not proud of it, but like I did download a copy of the game. Um, uh, for the torrent and it, it didn't work. <laughs> so as I said, I mean, I was just destined to not play the game. So 937 is the code. I forgot what, what it was. I haven't played the game in a minute because, as I said before, I got uber frustrated with uh, that first part there, and I'm glad that I finally was able to pass it. So, even though I'm sure, like I said, that end boss is going to be a bitch. Even with this rocket launcher, all right? I had the rocket launcher last time, and I still, it was a pain in the ass. 
Why is it that I don't get any of these like notifications at all? Like, and now here, here all of a sudden, here they are just. Hey man, a group that, you know, you're subscribed to that hardly ever posts anything is posting something right now. And then a friend of mine that, I, I mean, he's usually on, but he's not ever really playing. Uh, you know, he comes on. And then now my battery's low on my controller. Uh, that's not cool. All right, let's see what else we got. So. I do love this game though. It is pretty neat. Store that, and store that, and store that. So let's see here. Uh, let's store this. So I'm gonna remember 937. Nine three seven nine three seven because I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get it. Oops, a little bit too close. I know there's a dude over there. Or at least there was. That is how you do that. So, I learned that trick from uh, fighting the hunters later on in the hospital. Like, if you haven't played this game and I kind of spoiled something for you, don't stress. Like, it's it's okay. Ooh. I uh, didn't spoil too much as yes, there are hunters. This game is old enough. I mean, you should have already been privy to that information, so... Um, yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't want to, I don't really need to apologize to you for spoiling anything because it wasn't too big of a spoiler. You know? All right, let's see who's around here tripping. he was supposed to get up right there or not so uh i think it goes this way so nine three and seven oh <gasps> uh oh what is that what is it oh it's a dot side for the handgun boo nobody wants that shit anyways Although, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get you know, some people that don't know. Now, obviously, if you're playing on Inferno, you played through the game a few times. So you're aware of it, but I'm going to show you how to get the suppressor for the pistol. And I think it's like an extended mag for the pistol. Um, you get them from Nemesis. You have to... Um, down him twice in, in in this area. You know, when you first, not in like this, this area, but when you're coming back and you first encounter him, um, just make sure you, you down him. Um, the one way I know of, how, of doing it is, oh, actually, you know what? Let me pull. Uh, one way I know of doing it is with the grenades. So, all right, so what this thing is, is the crafting companion, if you don't know. Um, with the crafting companion, it does help increase the amount of ammo that you, um, you 
craft you know you create when you whenever you have it in your inventory so if you pull that bad boy out and then you like go over here get these high grade rounds uh, hang on, let me store that real quick um so combine and it gave me four it would probably would have gave me two um so i remember last on the last uh uh, difficulty level it gave me um, the same amount it gave me two so just letting y'all know it's a little bit of information that's all um, to help you get through this game someone in here? yeah someone's in there duh who is here there it is Uh, hey, it's that one kid from that movie, The Matrix. Now, so whatever. What the fuck? might have been infected. Shit, I got a water. Shit, I got a water. Could these be us killing your own people? Yeah. You would have heard. Prepare yourself for some persecution. We ain't got none, because this is America, Jack. So lucky, buddy. Um, let me grab these. Oh, you know what? I don't need those. I forgot. I got a rocket launcher. <laughs> I don't use the shotgun. Actually, I'm not even going to pick that damn shotgun up. Alright, so for those of you trying to get the achievements and stuff, don't forget there's um, notes and whatnot waiting for you right there there's another one right here um at the very very beginning uh, sorry i didn't start it at the very very beginning um there are three uh notes like ooh, like when you first like start the game up um after you do the dream sequence then uh there's three um documents that you can find in Jill's apartment. I think one's on the fridge, one's on her bulletin board, and the other one's like on the kitchen, on the... her dresser or something like that, I can't remember. Uh, but just remember there's there's three in there. Uh, it's, uh, oh, it's on the table, I think. Whee! Wee 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 wee. Yeah. Ain't nothing in there. Nothing in there. It's crazy though that freaking rocket launcher. How it looks just like she's carrying around just a giant like uh, sewage pipe. <laughs> uh, probably won't even end up using the dodge feature to be honest I'm weird like that huh I guess they move some stuff around because usually there's a hip pouch right here but oh well oh well Why we're adventuring together, adventuring together, adventuring together. All right. You. Oh my God. That's gross. That's racist. Yeah, there's some over there. Crazy. I don't know why it's open. Okay, so this is how you do this, right? Hit that button and you examine it, okay? And then you go whoop. 
And it's open! Yay! What is it? It's the locker picker. Alright. So. Uh, again, here's a document right here. Uh, I think there's another one over here. Yeah, there's one right here too. Documents! I don't know where they're all at, but as I'm pointing them out, I, as I'm going through, I'll, I'll try and remember to point them out to you. Oh no, tentacle porn. Blech. Sick. That's so disgusting. Uh oh, sorry. So, normally what you're gonna do is go ahead and use one of those and she'll barf them out. I know, right? Fucking gross. So, you do that, you're great. Gravy. Um, ooh. So this is what I do on this part, is I kind of spam the rockets. Because these fuckers just show up at an, everywhere, so... And on this difficulty, they will do massive damage, so... Even though in my inventory here, I have the recovery coin, uh, which, you know, increases... I've gradually regenerates my health, so I got two of them in there, so... It'll regenerate pretty quick, however, these guys do massive amounts of damage, so... I have the two iron defense, which will help with, you know, the damage, obviously, so... Two combined, like, sure, even though I have them, you know, you're like, oh, you're safe. No, these things still cause massive amounts of damage. So, that's just my strategy. You don't have to do what I do. That's it, what I do. Oh, fuck. Oops. Can't remember where this next one is. I think it's like I gotta go around here. Yeah, there it is. And trying to get him more of that tentacle porn action all up in Jill's face. Her name is Jill Valentine. Jill Valentine. And she's sweet like wine. Jill Valentine. Just kidding. Uh, I don't know of any wine that's sweet for, like, any wine I've ever tasted. I mean, I'm not really cultured, so the wine I probably had was the cheap stuff. Yeah, the cheapo. Time to power through. That's right. That's right. Come on. Damn, that was almost bad. I well, screwed that up royally. Uh, uh. Watch, come on, Wetsy. We got this, Jill. Let's go. And we're out. Sweet. Y'all suck on that. Okay. All that leaves is the main power switch. Mm hmm. It sure does. And that right there, ladies and germs, is going to be it for this episode of Sizzle Chest In. Be sure to like, subscribe, and come back if you enjoyed this content. Alright, there's going to be more of it. I'm going to continue on with this game. 
uh, until I'm finished. So you're going to, if you're going to watch, you're going to be with me through all the frustration and you're probably going to cuss me out, tell me how much I suck at this game. And I'm fine with that, okay? Because uh, I know that I'm not a pro gamer. I've been playing games forever, but uh, I'm only so-so. I'm about average, all right? Uh, so that's it, ladies and gents. I'll see you next time.